Physicists report that they've tied water in a knot. This is what it looks like, and... As far as we know, this is the first time that a vortex knot has been made in a fluid in the laboratory. A vortex knot is the fancier cousin of one of these. Where do they go, the smoke rings I blow each night? Oh, what do they do, those circles of blue and white? The Mills Brothers are sort of singing the key question. Uh, yeah, basically. You know, we're interested not just in smoke rings, but also in knots and more complicated shapes. But basically, yes, we're curious what they do. Which is why Dustin Kleckner and his colleagues have this professional ring generator. Although this isn't a smoke ring, it's a water ring. What you're seeing is, is bubbles, and they sort of stick to the edges of the, of the wing or the hydrofoil, and they get released when we accelerate it. That's physicist William Irvin. Bubbles are visualizing the fluid's flow, and high-speed cameras are letting you watch this at about a 60th of real time, meaning that a second of footage is displayed as a minute. What William Irvin and Dustin Kleckner wanted to figure out was whether you could tie one of these into a knot. A knot is probably not so far from what you you imagine a knot to be. (laughs) Some closed loop that you can't deform into a ring without having it go through itself. The secret to making fluid knots are these 3D printed wings. Whose path more or less just traces this knot. Using these, the researchers report in Nature Physics, they were able to make two different types of fluid knots. And here's the question. Does a knotty fluid stay knotted? Here's what they found. It propagates, it goes forward just like a smoke ring would, but as it does that, it rotates a little bit and it uh, deforms. Regions that are spinning in opposite directions start to get close to one another. You know, eventually they get closer and closer until they eventually collide. And this causes it to actually untie itself. And break apart into two rings. And the reason physicists care about this is because... There's a sort of sense that the amount of knottedness in fluids is a fundamental property, uh, which we need to understand in order to understand their behavior. And there are even some extra large scale practical applications, like understanding the sun because you do get these coronal loops, which people think do have linking and knotting. Um, And in this case, it's thought to be very important for the dynamics of the corona, but the problem is obviously you can't have a sun in your lab. 